right. <clears throat> so this is a viewer requested video. Wanted to see the uh, inside of the Kershaw Natrix copper to see if the bearings ran on raw copper on the copper, and they do not. They have a stainless steel uh, washer right there that they write on. So they do not write on it's just the straight copper, and it should be the same for both sides, I'm assuming. Yes, it is. So both sides have the bearings, and then they have the um, copper insert, not insert, a stainless steel track that they run on. So there you go. Um, other than that, you know, you have basically just copper scales with your subframe lock. And I'm going to see about, see, I can't really bend it more that way. There's no room to go that way. That's unfortunate because it's got some issues with centering we'll see when I put it back together not not a bad issue but just a little bit of an issue I think due to lock bar pressure but I was just assembling some other knives and I thought you know what I'll do really quick a um, disassembly video on this you just need a t6 and a t8 t8 for the pivot t6 for the scales you have your um, looks like just to be a plastic backspacer of some sort and you can see the milling pockets I was incorrect earlier I said they only had the incorrect the uh, milling on the show side scale <clears throat> they actually do have milling in the inside here of the um, lock side so more weight reduction which is awesome um, and you can see that the copper is definitely I mean just it's gonna patina it's gonna have its own unique character very soon very fast so put it back together Let's see, actually, I think I put that other bearing in backwards. I did. We want that part. Actually, no, that's why I had it. Never mind. I want the stop pin came out too. That goes up here. On the phone. Ooh, that's got to go a certain way. Which I'm not even, it says that way. That's the only way it can go. Okay. So they're pretty small bearings, for sure. But they are bearings. The stop pin does not want to stay in there. Pretty simple construction, you just have the two body screws and a pivot. Goes together, easy peasy. And there was already some grease on there, so I wasn't gonna bother with that. There's some, looked like there was already some lube on the pivot, on the bearing, so we'll just leave it how it is for now. Let's see how the centering comes back. Um, yeah, that's actually better. So I think I may have rectified that issue because it's not on center. There is no blade play. Centering's perfect now. I probably should have put some knife hit lube in there. Oh well, we can always do it later. But I just wanted to do a quick video showing the inside that they do not run on um, just the copper scales, that there is a stainless steel washer that they write on. So. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.